The Indy, located in Kennesaw, Georgia, is one of numerous off-campus housing residents for Kennesaw State University students. Today, we will be taking a look inside the complex and talking with students who currently live there and hearing their pros and cons of student living. Here inside the newly built complex, we see modern public spaces, equipped with a gym, a pool, and lounge cubbies for students to hang out, study, or get a good photo opportunity. Resident Joshua Price will be walking us around the complex today. We started in the parking deck. Hundreds of students drive up and down these cement rows. Here's where Josh expressed one of his main security problems living at Indy. Okay, yeah. and then you said the parking deck. Have you ever almost hit somebody in here? Somebody almost hit me. Oh, more than one time? That's here, sofa, yeah, all of them. And that's because the parking clearance is too small. Oh, I guess the width. I'm gonna walk over here so y'all can see. This is a very tight curve. Like, I think that's true. You know what I'm saying? All they keep a service there over there where all the fire is Gotcha. Fire, fire, or something. So security is always great here. That's a plus. Okay. And I'm gonna get you to open it so we can see the security access. I don't trust you because it's, I guess because it's not a real floor. Do people live on the first floor though? Yeah, I live on the first floor. <laughs> so you have to come have to up upstairs, yeah. with well, your trash. Or sometimes I have a vendor, I mean, um, dumpsters outside but like then i would have to go outside and yeah sometimes the trash piled up and it just be sitting there in a whole hallway thing the, so it just be sitting out here there don't be bugs and stuff because if you just have trash around it's kind of hot i don't, don't be around long enough to find out, <laughs> gotcha. so i don't know maybe i hope not so you have to come down from the first floor to the second floor, I mean up, yeah. and put your trash here. And sometimes you can't even put it in the chute. I guess it depends on like the days to come pick it up. Okay, so what is your overall experience with student housing in Kennesaw, just all of them together? <clears throat> okay, Sova, I've lived at the Blake, Sova and here, Indy. And Sova and Indy, so it was, the, it was the, the best by far. They had it down, like everything. Here it was like two notches down. Like Why? Wi um, the Wi-Fi was way worse. When they told us it was gonna be way better because it was less people. So does the internet like drop a lot, or can you just not yeah, get on? I can. I can't even play like 2K online for real. <laughs> not for real. I can play, but it's but like, not for real. Yeah, not for real. It's barely. <laughs> um, Blake, that place is just ancient. There's no elevator. If you park, you have to walk miles to get to your own room. And then it's, you know, it's bad. There's, there's dog pee, it's carpeted. I mean, everywhere's carpeted, but it's like, for some reason theirs just stands out. It's, it's they can switch some stuff up. Hmm? They can switch some stuff up. They need to change everything. Like, <laughs> they do. It's bad, it's bad. It's nasty though, like, nasty bad. It is. Um, I mean, the amenities be straight. I can't really, I don't know how to judge here because mm -hmm. of COVID. So we haven't been able to use everything the whole time. Mm -hmm. um, you not. feel like however much money you pay in rent, you feel like it's worth it? Because all y'all pay, it's not like all y'all split a price. Right. All y'all have to pay like, I'm guessing around eight, nine hundred dollars each. It's like eight. Ours is like around eight. It's around eight. So 800 times four, you feel like that money is worth a small 
section of an apartment, kind of? It's not, but when you think about that it's furnished mm -hmm. and then you have maintenance and all that added in, yes. Mm -hmm. But but for places like Blake, no. <laughs> like it needs to be at least modern. Like it needs to have mm -hmm. modern stuff in it. It needs to be up to date if we're gonna be paying that. Because I know the, the Blake is like way less, but it's still too much for what they got. No, it's like seven something over there. Yeah, that's way too much. Yeah. That's way too much. They don't, they don't even have an elevator. Like They don't. <laughs> they don't. No. So overall, you basically, you like living here. You feel like it's worth the money that you put forth. Do what you say. So you said Silver was the best out of all the other ones. So Indy would be next, like in ranking. Yeah. I don't know too much about you, Club, though. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm just gonna go from your experience. Yeah. yeah, I would put Indy next. But this is, I think this is more modern built later. So you feel like out of all the other schools, Kennesaw has one of the best housing? Yeah. And, yes, and they, would say, they would say us too. <laughs> they come up here, they be mad when they come up here. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you for your time. KSU student Jaquan Fulton was unable to be present during our walkthrough but left a comment regarding Stadium Village, which is one of four housing residents. Fulton states, Stadium is run down in my opinion. We pay for certain things such as gates. However, it never works. We have had shootings here recently and still no security, end quote. The Blake is the last student housing we will be visiting. It is located directly across the bridge from Kennesaw State University. The Blake is fairly older than the previous housing complexes, but is surrounded by restaurants and lots of stores. We will be starting in the back of the neighborhood at Guest Parking, where resident Regana Higginbotham will be expressing her concerns on Guest Parking and why she's to living at the Blake because this is Guest Parking. And guess where he is all the way in the back of the neighborhood and I live all the way in the front. So if I have guests that are coming to see me and they arrive at night, yes, they have to take that long walk. But I'm such a good friend that I just come drive back here, pick them up and then drive back to the front. Is there any security that drives through here? Um, Very rarely. Cobb County Police will drive through here, but it's not often like they're not on duty to. So the Blake is not like the other student housing to have elevators. No elevators at all. Renee gave us a tour of her unit. The Blake comes with a 50 inch TV, stainless steel appliances, and all units come furnished. Heating, air, and water are included in your pricing. Renee's unit houses three other students, including herself, all which have their own bedrooms and bathrooms. Okay, Renee, what's your overall experience at the Blake? Well, I've been living at the Blake for two years now. Um, and my first year at the Blake, everything was great. Everything was clean. Security was A1. You know, roommates were clean as well. But I don't know, after year two, it, everything just went downhill. Like, as you can see in the first clip, the security code didn't work at the door anymore. And they have yet to fix that, no matter how many complaints I send. Um, you know, maintenance is good here. I will give them that. And um, the administrative team, they're pretty responsive, so that's okay. Um, but overall, I hate my roommates. And um, as you can see, there's a trash bag right here that's not in the trash. Does the Blake do anything about roommate complaints? Is there anything um, you can do? Is there a fine? Well, I think after a while, if you keep complaining about your roommates, they probably will move you into another unit. Um, I haven't had to complain about my roommates really at all. They're just dirty and it just takes a text message or a phone call or a knock on their door to tell them to come clean their mess. Um, but other than that, like I don't have roommates who fight or 
do bad things. So. Your appliances and all the stuff. So you pay probably around seven something. Yes, yeah, seven fifty. Do you feel like that's reasonable? Because all you guys pay seven fifty. So do you feel like you get the amenities that should be included with y'all almost paying two thousand dollars for a unit? Um, to be honest, I do think that seven fifty is reasonable for us to be college students, and that we get all of our utilities are included. Um, mm -hmm. At the Blake, we don't really have any overage problems. Um, if any overages, but if we do, they're usually no more than like 20 bucks, but we rarely get overages. So I really like that. I do like the fact that our unit does come with a 50 inch flat screen TV. Um, and our appliances are stainless steel and um, wooden cabinets, but the Blake has very bad plumbing. So, um, not when it comes to the toilets, because those, I've never had an issue with the toilets, but the dishwasher and the, um, sink, what's that thing called in the sink? When you, the stopper? No, the, um, the food thing. What's oh, called? the, um, garbage disposal? Yes. The garbage disposal. Whenever you, you can't run the dishwasher and the garbage disposal at the same time, because if you do, everything will squirt up. <laughs> <laughs> the sink and yeah you'll have a face full of food so um i do like the fact that we do have a balcony and i have a view on my balcony where i can just see the highway and people who are strolling running you know doing their exercising and we're really close to the gas station and a lot of food restaurants so um other than that i mean the blake is convenient it's right across the bridge from ksu mm -hmm. but um if you're not really interested in having roommates or you realize that you're not a person who likes to share i advise you to get a one bedroom um and the blake does have one bedroom it's going for 1160 right now so <laughs> did you um during covid i know they had the pool area close it off mm -hmm. did they give you guys any type of discount on your rent or anything like that because that is something that you paid for in your 750 or did they give y'all some gift cards like how did they deal with that they didn't deal with that they just told us it was closed and there's no discount on anything so um so just like the door the security here it's in our um, contract that we would have security and um, at one point I didn't want to pay half of my rent because I didn't feel like I was secure I complained 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 they have yet to fix the door I don't know if it's just my building that the door doesn't work but um yeah they haven't done anything about that they don't discount or nothing is the pool open now the pool is open now it's been open for I think like a month now okay. maybe a month and a half and I have gone for the first time since I've lived at the Blake. But um, it is clean and it's cool. All right, well, thank you. On June 30th, 2021, I contacted the Blake in Student House Living and I did not receive a call back or an email about the concerns students made throughout the video. It seems that most students enjoy their student living, especially those living in the newer residents such as the Indy or Bigsby. However, there is a problem with security, a major problem with security and cleanliness. Um, some students made a complaint about their overages charge. Students that lived at U Club, their overages are charges that they are charged for for water and electricity if they go over a certain limit. However, the complex does not have any type of app or any way for students to know when they're reaching that limit. 